Hi, I'm Dr. Jared Gardner, and I wanted to give you a little something if you're starting out in pathology to help you uh, learn some of the basic immunostains and special stains. So obviously this is a very basic incomplete table, but I put this together a few years ago for my med students, and I think it could be helpful also for maybe surgeons or radiologists or um, other people who get to read pathology reports and wonder what all these stains are that we're talking about and what the stains are used for. So I, I do a lot of dermatopathology as well as bone and soft tissue pathology. So uh, admittedly, some of these stains are focused on things that I use in Dermpath, and uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of other stains. But uh, this is a good uh, general table to start out when you're just getting into pathology or if you're a first year resident and you're trying to learn some of the basic stuff. And as I say at the bottom with my disclaimer, there's many, many exceptions, okay? And lots of stuff left out, but this will give you a basic beginning place uh, to, to build from because I know when I was uh, in training, I thought I'll never learn all of these stains. And it turns out I did learn most of them, but then since I've graduated and been in practice now, I've been in practice 12 years, there are so many new immunostains that have been developed, uh, let alone molecular tests, uh, so it's always a challenge to keep up. But anyway, I hope this table helps you. If you want to download an actual copy of this table, I'll put a link in the video description and you can download this as a JPEG or a PDF. And um, I may update it again in the future. I haven't updated it for a couple years, but uh, if I update it in the future, I'll try to update that link down below. So if you're watching it, then um, you'll, you'll be able to get the, the most up-to-date copy. And feel free to share it with your friends or classmates, anyone else you think might uh, find it valuable. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Oh, I forgot I will actually make another video about this, but I'll put a link down below too. Uh, there's another table I have of hematopathology specific stains um, from my friend and former colleague, Dr. Jeanette Ramos. Um, I'll put a link to the video and, uh, and download link uh, in the description down below so you can get that too, because uh, hematopathology stains I think are really challenging to learn. I still struggle with heme path. All right, thanks. Have a great day.